ADHD increase is probably similar to the increase in autism spectrum disorders. We know that ADHD and ADD have a genetic component to them. Um, and again, again, it would be a complex genetic disorder where there isn't a specific gene that one has identified that if you have that, you would develop ADHD, but rather a family of genes. Um, and it looks as though ADHD and ADD may be very separate disorders and have separate genetic influences. Um, but again, a lot of researchers are looking to environmental factors that may be increasing the prevalence of ADHD and ADD. Um, and certainly one of those factors might be early television exposure. So there has, was at least one study showing that children who are exposed to more than two hours a day of television when they're very young, when they're infants and during the first year or so of life, are more inclined to develop ADHD. So it might be that that's a factor. Um, we need to replicate that research. We need to clarify it a little bit to see if there are different kinds of television that are factors. Um, and also it may be that uh, that ADHD is not a bad thing, that it is a human neurological trait that was very adaptive for human beings 200 years ago when we were hunters. So it would be very good if you're a hunter to be able to be alert to, a, to anything that might happen around you. We call that open attention to any predator that might be around you or to just the movement of the rustling leaves that might signal that your prey is moving nearby. Um, and that that might have been very good skill to have a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago, but now that we're no longer in the environment where we need that, that, where students have to sit in a chair all day for six hours a day and listen to teachers, um, it might be that, that that particular gene and that particular kind of attentional ability is interfering with, with school, whereas it might not have interfered with success in life earlier in our development of human beings. So there's a lot of discussion about ADHD, but I would say the bottom line is it is increasing. There are probably a combination of environmental and genetic factors. Mm -hmm.